to do something about it. Now, the term universal health care uh, has a number of uh, negative connotations, which the pharmaceutical industry refers to as left-wing or communist. Well, it is not communism to take care of your neighbor. Quite the contrary, it is Americanism. We are supposed to help each other. And I think we're putting a dent in our nation of liberty when we allow 40 million people to go without ready access to health care. Think about it. Tell your congressman about it. It's not communism, ladies and gentlemen. It's the American way to go. Thank you, Reed. Thank you, Mark. Well, the health care industry, uh, especially the insurance companies, which cream off 30 percent of all the profits, are uh, quite interested in making sure they kill the so-called public option, whereby you could go to the federal government and get some kind of assistance uh, without having to pay 30 percent to the insurance companies and profits and bloated, uh, bloated uh, uh, wages for the, uh, the directors. Some of them make a million dollars. It's insane. And uh, the huge paperwork burden because of the 1,400 different, uh, uh, different insurance companies. I mean, it's just become a nightmare. All right, enough of that said. We've got with us a uh, local uh, hero. She takes care of seniors. And I'll tell you, since half of our county, well, I think it's uh, pretty close to half of the uh, county, are uh, elderly, um, over 50 anyway, seniors, and many of them in their 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, uh, she's dealing with a lot of people here. And, of course, many of the unemployed are the seniors over 50. Uh, they, uh, they, they can't get a job. Nobody's going to hire somebody over 50 when you can get a... A uh, spirited kid who can climb up and down like a monkey, and this poor old guy can't really stack the shelves the way he's supposed to. Um, so in the meantime, she is helping out. She's got a budget which has been slashed at 100000 or so, whatever you believe, locally, but she's, uh, she's going to tell us how she made that up. And then she's going to talk about the war. She has a couple of comments she wants to make <coughs> about the war, and then she'll be on her way. Marianne, you're <laughs> on. Go for it. <laughs> Marianne Spanos. Good morning. So nice to be here. And happy birthday. Thank you. I don't know what your background is, but do you know what Stolat means? Stolat, uh, what Stolat. does that mean? I'm, I'm Polish and Italian, and, uh -huh. and we always and say... Greek. And Greek. And I married a Greek. I married a Greek. Okay. <laughs> but we always say Stolat, which means I wish you 100 years. Okay, well, if, as long as I'm not uh, falling apart, I'm, 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 I'm game for that. But, <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes it ain't worth it. It's worth the trip. You've got to take your 60 pills earlier, you know. I love the shocker. She doesn't believe the things I say. Okay, go ahead. Now, you were going to tell us, incidentally, 70 is not a bad age to be. I'm, I feel healthy and happy and comfortable at 70. That's wonderful. But the, the, other, the other side of the picture is you've got this guy who's sort of a skeleton with a great big sigh. He follows you around. You know, you never know. As they say, as the old song goes, never laugh when a hearse goes by, or you may be the next to die. I know the that song. The worms crawl in, the worms crawl out. <laughs> the worms play pinochle on your snout, and then it goes on and on. There are yeah. 54 verses verses that I know of that. I I just know one, so <laughs> you're you're ahead of me. Okay, Mary. But uh, you, you, I I did want to to uh, dispel some notions that yeah. are out there about our budget being cut. Uh, our budget was not cut locally. What we did was we saved money for the local share. You know, our um, money comes from state and federal government, but we must contribute local money to our budget. You know, we're required a certain amount. Is there, oh, there's a, there's a dollar amount? There's a dollar amount. For most of our programs, we'll get 75% of the money from the state and the feds, mm -hmm. and then we have to add to it 25%. Mm -hmm. And over the years, we had increased that local share quite a bit. And what we now did... God's earth, why? <laughs> I don't know. It was before I came into <laughs> office. So... Uh, there were various reasons, but uh, what we did, and not just myself, but the wonderful staff at Office for the Aging, you know, I could not do what I do every day without their expertise and their input and uh, their terrific uh, knowledge about different aspects of Office for the Aging. And so when I came into office, you know, we looked at what we were doing. And one of the things that we were doing was we had farmed out the oversight of our home and community-based services. 
And the staff came to me as we were hitting a budget crunch, which actually happened almost two years ago. Um, the county executive approached all the department heads and said, you know, we need to start being fiscally responsible and how can we do it better at the county? How can we um, cut the local share? And so all of us as department heads went and examined our practices and what I found through my workers there was that we were spending an awful lot of money to have oversight of our home care program and our same workers were also going out and seeing these same people and they said, you know, we don't need this other company to do this for us. We can do it ourselves and save a lot of money. And so that's what we did. We brought our home care program back in-house and we saved over $100,000 of local share. Now our budget did not go down. What we did also was we looked at our other funding streams, like the money we get for the HEAP program, the money we get for elder abuse prevention, and realized that we really weren't charging all the cost that we could to HEAP, which is a federal program. So in conjunction with the Department of Social Services, and we have a wonderful new director, Steve Wickmark, and he is really uh, a terrific guy and really looking critically at how things are done in, in social services and is kind of our leader for our human services team. So we're meeting as a team, all the department heads, uh, Steve in, in social services, Christine in the health department, Pat Brinkman, who is our uh, mental hygiene director. And Ron? No, Ron it works no? for me. Okay. Uh, but we've been getting together as a group and looking how we can work better together and save local money. So you saved 100 grand? So we saved over 100 grand. And you turned mm -hmm. that back. You said, hey, you, here's yours, guys, using your budget for real Right, things. but yeah. I also increased mm -hmm. uh, other funding streams that didn't mm -hmm. come out of local money. Mm -hmm. So that yeah. we, did, we actually increased our services to seniors. You have we have more money. We have more money. Yes. Great. Yeah. A, we had 370. Miracle. Yeah, we had 375 people on our home care program two years ago. Mm -hmm. This week we have over 605. Why? Why? Wait a minute. This is a huge increase. Right. Holy mackerel! We doubled the amount of lifelines that we're giving. Uh -huh. We're giving over 900 you, you, you lifelines. Clean, you clean houses. No. Yes, we do. Okay. Through I'll, our home care program, but you have to qualify. Where, where do I, how do you qualify? You have to qualify. You got to be over 70. I'm over 70. No, you can, you're over 60, but you also have to have some problems being able to do it yourself. This is I not do. a convenience I, I program. I <laughs> it's like I went over for my shot the other day, yeah. and I said, I want the nasal, you know, yeah. because of my condition. He said, what's the condition? And I said, uh, I suffer from uh, uh, <laughs> a pernicious cowardice. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I could suffer from something, you know, that would prevent me from, I, I suffer from a mortal hatred of housework. Is that good, you know? <laughs> no. Uh, but you do provide housekeeping for people that yes, are Yes, we in, do. In housekeeping and personal care, lifelines, meals. Uh -huh. we, su we support the Meals on Wheels program. Some of those meals what do you do are actually paid for by Office for the Aging. Oh, you cough up the dough for the, the meals. Who makes all those meals? Well, we have three kitchens in uh -huh. Chautauqua County. One uh -huh. is the jail. Oh, the slammer. Yeah. Oh, that's the, yeah. hello, Joe. He's going to be on it. Yeah. If, 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 good. Yeah. You could ask him about our program. I got to ask about the good old food there. You that's know? right. If it's good enough for the seniors, it's got to be good enough for the <laughs> for the uh, the, the bird, Jill birds, huh? Right. And Brooks Hospital <laughs> uh -huh. does some of it, okay. and the Sinclairville 76ers. They right. have a they, wonderful. They use the fire hall, right? Right. They have a, a legitimate or what, is and it? what they, kind of kitchen? You got to have a certified. They kitchen. do have a certified kitchen, yeah. and actually, we helped them get a th along with Crick. Uh -huh. We helped them get three hundred and ten thousand dollars in Crick stimulus fixes funds. Old houses, right? Yes, but they're going to fix up the Sinclairville Fire Hall, oh, they really? make it handicap accessible, um, because it's not right. Uh, you know, people have to enter through the fire bay doors, and uh -huh. that's not kosher. Yeah, um, they big also, though, big entrance. <laughs> it is, but you know, if they have an emergency at the same time, we don't want people to get run down. That's but true. But you can't come through their main entrance because it's uh -huh. it's uh, stairs with a door that opens outward. Right. And well, uh, see, when they build them, they, the, the firemen, they figured that at least could get inside. You had to go upstairs and slide down that pole and all that <laughs> stuff, you know. <laughs> so we're really excited about that grant coming to um, to the Sinclair, three hundred and ten thousand dollars. It's just a picture. Where and did you get all this money? Where does it come that from? That was stimulus, and actually, we tried three years uh -huh. in a row to get it through different um, 
There's a small cities grant that uh -huh. we tried to go through and right. didn't get it. 